What's the story with the Spring Fair? The Spring... Uh, fair? Fair. About the Spring Fair. Sorry, I have so many books here. I'm like so overloaded with which ones are fiction and which ones are non-fiction. Sure, sure, sure. Because they're not all labeled. Like this one book that I have down here. Uh-huh. This is like how to fix things. That would be non-fiction, right? Would this be a non-fiction? Because it's oh, fix it. Thank you. So how to, right, is non-fiction. Is that right? I think. You think? Okay. Then I'm going to put that one in non-fiction. Okay. Non-fiction. You're making the funniest face at me. You are, you are really, really uh, throwing me off. Why is that? You look very familiar to me. You, like, a, like your friend Dave? Yes. Who is this Dave person? He's just a friend of mine. A friend of yours? So do you have information on the fair? On the fair? Um, let me see if I have. He just got this. Romeo and Juliet is obviously nonfiction, right? This would be a nonfiction oh book. So, because that's Shakespeare, oh even though it can. You are him. Oh my God. Huh? Who? Oh, nice to meet you. Oh my God. Who am I? Who is Dave? Oh my. You are. T I can't believe this. What? I can't believe this. What can't you believe? I'm having a hot flash. Don't talk to me. What's your What's your name? <laughs> my name's Donna. Hi, Donna. Nice to meet you. Oh, dear. Yeah. Red is hell. You are a little red, yeah. So you, you, am I somebody you I know? I you all the time. You do. My name's not Dave. It's David. Is it? Is it? Something. Something. David. What is your last name? Oh my God. What, what do you watch? You watch <laughs> my show? Oh. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is my I'm gonna show you something that, and you'll know what show it is. I know what show it is. It's the magic show. What's it called? Oh my God. Is it Dave? Dave. It's Dave. The Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. Show. Show. Magic show. The Dave Chappelle Magic Show. That's me. Oh my god. That is me. In my hometown. Right this here in your hometown. Is so cool. Right? How many people can say I have had the Dave Chappelle Magic Show in my local library? I'm having a hot flash. I'm having a this hot is flash. So good. <laughs> <laughs> the minute I seen you, I thought. My pleasure. That it was, was your so pleasure. nice. Yeah. It was nice. Will you be on my TV show? Do I get a prize? You get to be on TV and... Okay, I'm going to give you a gift for your future. It's this book. Oh, my God, Dave. This is so cool. Dave. Dave Chappelle is giving you a hug right now. Dave Chappelle, the robot magician. <gasps> Who can say Dave Chappelle, the robot magician, has been in their library? Oh, my God. You can. Yes, I can. Well, here you go, Calvin. My first check. Thank you, sir. Hey, how are we doing? All right. Are we ready for some tasting? Yeah, that's big tasting. All right. Wow. I got frutte de mare for you. Wow, full portion. Here you are. Thank first you. First order of business. Thanks. Enjoy it. My name's right. Johnny. I'll be around, OK? Cool. Thanks, All Johnny. Right. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Not a huge fan of shells. I'm going to take the shell things out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's authentic, but, you know, <laughs> not a shell guy. All right. Oh, I can hear the shells clicking in there. Look at all that. Oh, you got, like, a lot of shells. What's that? You got a lot. I didn't get it. You didn't get lobster? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to complain. Oh, yeah, two of them. Like a... I should probably give you one of those. Let me see how many I have. Hold on. Wow. But, yeah, a crab. Yeah, that's it's nice. And let me use my hand if you don't mind. It's not like a shell. I don't like a lot of. Yeah, you know, I like pieces of seafood, like shrimp or something, but not. Yeah. I, I would have that. Okay. Yeah, that's. All right. Yeah, it's underneath. I don't know how they get. A lot of shells, though. Not my. Uh... Oh yeah. Let me get this out. They're doing two of them. How do they even fit in the bowl? I don't know. I think they, well, you know, Italian pasta making is kind of a layering technique. So I think they. That's, is that a squid? Yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, seaweed. 
If you want any of this, man, you can have some of that. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I, got some, uh, I feel bad you didn't get anything. Good. That's that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get any pasta? It's just layered on. It's like thick underneath the pasta. It's like I got to dig it up, you know. Like this. Wow. That's good. It's good. All right. All right, that's insane. That's yeah. yeah, that's a whole octopus there. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, they probably have a. Can I use your plate? Maybe to hold some of this? Yeah, just because. Yeah. Giant tentacle. Yeah, and feel free if you want. I mean, I don't know how I'm even supposed to eat that. How are you doing? Doing all right. What you got there? I wanted to sign up for the 21 day cleanse. Oh, great. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys tell us what to drink each day or do we have to pick our own? Um, well, we can recommend it if okay. you want or if you have ones that are your favorite, you know, we can integrate it into it. Okay. Yeah. This one I just poured up. Have you tried yet? This is just spinach. Oop. It leaks out the bottom. Yeah, look what's going on here. What is yeah. that? Uh, that's, you know, what happens is, is once we're juicing for a while, yeah. it can fill up and, and sort of the toxins build up in the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the bottom of the blender will have toxins built up in it. So you want to pour those out. That's what you're not getting in your body. Yeah, you want to make sure you keep that stuff clean. See, when we juice without having the toxins come out, that, that's all going inside of your body. Oh, yeah. But you no, can I see, believe you. I see it. That's gross. What they do is they start a, a process of morphogenesis. Oh, wow. Where they start to, you know, huddle together. Oh. So that's why it sort of takes that shape. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, let me get these gloves off. And the interesting thing is because it's all plant life, you can actually handle them with your bare hands. So I'm going to take this. Ugh. See that? It looks like you just formed an alien. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah. Let me pat him off for you there. Ew. Yeah. Is it alive? Ew. Yes. That's the, the plant toxins and the fruit toxins. You know, it will it'll form. Ew. That's what you wanna, you know, you wanna make sure you're not keeping inside your body. Spinach, kale, and apple together will create a living toxin. Ew. That is so gross. Yeah, you don't want that in your small intestine. Well, then I'm not going to pick what I do on the 21-day thing. I'll do it all wrong. That's the Boatman cheddar. Uh, also, we have a Tellagio here. You want to taste that? Tellagio, ordinarily, um, you don't see holes in Tellagio. You know, you see holes more in your Swiss cheeses yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I see Swiss. Right, and the holes can really help the flavor, too. So they force the holes into this Tellagio, which makes it taste much more delicious. And we're going to be we're gonna be super fancy today. we we'll give you a ceramic plate. I love that. Yeah. So what, that, what does that do to uh, the flavor profile by like putting the holes in there manually? It allows the, the flavors and the aromas to aerate through the cheese naturally. Okay, so let me get your plate all cleaned up there, and we'll try this the fancy way. Wow. When you do Tellagio, you want to do it very fancy, and it goes on an Italian crisp bread. Okay. Okay, so put that like that. And that is for you to serve here. And we, whoop, sorry, sir. Yeah, the holes transferred over. If it goes on top of like a porous surface, it transfers through. So it's, they're not really staying. So they're shooting out. That's really interesting. And the holes transfer over. Wow. So I hope that's okay with you. I could try and tap them back in. I think I got it. Nope. Whoop. Do they, oh, there they are. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I was doing this on a ceramic, hoping that it would hold the, to hold the bubbles. Okay, wait, so is this like live? I'm confused by how this is happening right now. Live? Like the bubbles that were on this cheese. They're active. You know, you know cheese is, has active culture in it. So the holes uh, transfer out. They're trying to find a way out. So the holes move to the bread, 
and then the bread moved the holes to the plate. Which, I cannot believe that there are holes in that plate. I know, that's like, it went right through. Yeah. I had no idea it was like so forceful. Yeah, cheese can be very forceful. So is it like dangerous to eat then? Is it like explode my stomach? We usually tell people when eating uh, Tellagio to handle it very delicately. So Tellagio is a dangerous cheese, let's be honest. There's a no Gurrier idea. over there that's literally a ticking time bomb. I'm a, I'm a safe cheese guy. I just came here hoping to have a nice bite of cheese. Right. Don't want to like puncture my internal organs. With it's a fair exploding. statement, it's a fair statement. Let me get something uh, more firm, maybe a metal plate sure. to see if I can let you taste that. But I wouldn't touch that because I don't want the holes to, you know, yeah. transfer onto your skin. I don't want to like, die or anything. Good, how are you? Hey, Chris, right. go back and help him do some work. That's right, right? A little bit of fun, a little bit of work. That's perfect. And it looks like you're going to be spending over 20 bucks today for sure. Yeah. So you're going to get a free gift. That's for you, one of those packs of the uh, canteen beans. You can use those on your trip if you want. Okay. You going camping? No, actually, I'm just going to go out and uh, try fishing. My wife uses them for dinner, so you could actually just use them for dinner if you want. Okay. Yeah, they're real good. Yeah, we do. We sell canteens, but you don't. You could use your canteen you have at home or mm -hmm. anything. You just keep it nice and clean and dried out. You sprinkle some in there. Go ahead. Pop that open. Yeah, you sprinkle some of those. Uh, it's about right, yeah. Needs an air seal, that's it. And they kind of agitate each other by shaking them up. And uh, when you're ready, it stops making the sound. Okay. You hear that? That's how you know they've swollen up. And well, uh, these get bigger. Yeah, okay. there you go. And see, oh. Whoa. Yep. They have, they're self-heated. Oh, well, you gotta be kidding me. No, no, self-heating, self-cooking. And it has a, a hickory maple, this flavor. Is a, it's a good hickory maple with sort of a pork got a little bit of pork in there. So it's that got pork fragments that'll really, really amazing, isn't it? And I mean, that, feel how heavy that is. Holy, I didn't put, I didn't think I put that much in there. Well, they swell. Okay. Yeah, and that whole thing lasts you the whole summer. You know what I mean? You could have beans every week. Oh my God. For a whole summer, yeah. <laughs> not bad, right? Not bad at all. Squeeze them out, and then, now these we don't give away, and I'm not trying to sell uh, you, but uh, we do. Uh, yeah. No, 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 we do have, we have the Frank. Hot dogs? Yeah, just, these These will work with the moisture of the beans. They only work with the beans. You poke that in there, whoop. And there we go. Oh my God. And look at this, you can have beans and Franks on the road. That is bizarre. <laughs> yeah. You just put it in a container and shake it up and it goes. Put it in a container and shake it up and it goes, yeah. But do not shake the hot dogs with it closed because okay. they will shoot out. Okay. Okay? Too okay. much pressure. The beans you close, hot dogs drop right in without sealing the air. Okay? okay. I can't be responsible. <laughs> For someone getting hit with a hot yeah, dog? That's right. <laughs> uh, let me get you the instruction book on that. Okay. They're just feeders. They're for people to feed, like you're feeding your lizard. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do with him? Oh, it's like a process. It's a little gene splicer. Really? Yeah. So he goes inside here, so he does the bottom. Oh, yeah. No. That's wax, almost like, uh -huh. you know, when you uh, have a frog, like a taxidermy? Uh huh. Or when you're gonna try dissecting a frog? It's yeah. that same waxy bottom of that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so because because they're single cell, they'll split. So we use these as feeders instead. It's just a more humane way of doing it. All right. Okay, come here, little guy. Yeah, you haven't seen us do this before. We do the same thing with the crickets too. Anything that has this is a. Uh, Single cell, yeah. single cell mammal or insect. Yeah. He doesn't want to go anywhere. No, he doesn't want to go. There's always one that's like the alpha, so we'll keep him to grow. Really? Yeah. Then he can be split again. These guys you want to just sell. But the alpha we always keep. There we go. A little yeah, feisty little guy, right? Got to be locked in there. 
Yeah, you're standing back, right? <laughs> Don't be nervous. No. Don't be. I gotta see this. this... <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So these ones will be just a little bit small. No freaking way. Yeah. Look at all those little guys. Okay, hang on one second. Get these guys in here. Oh, yeah. yeah, we've just been doing this for like the last three weeks. Have you not been in here to see this? For feeders, it's more humane to splice them. Splice them. You do it with any simple celled organism up to 18 times, and then they'll start to get a little, you know, wonky. We call them floppers, but those will work for feeders too. But um, hang on, let me grab your crickets, okay? We're gonna give these guys some crickets. That is freaking amazing. Are you uh, a chiropractic student here? Yeah. For this trick, I teamed up with magician David Regal, who's been working on the Carbonaro effect since the very first day. Now, David and I are known to engage in prank wars with each other on set, so we knew this trick was bound to get a little bit silly. And, uh, great, Kelsey. Just grab onto his ankles. Oh. Real good. All right, good. And bend his knees up. Okay. Great. Exactly. And I'm going to put this underneath here. Hold on. Oh, just setting it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> here you go. And I'm going to bring your head up and just stretch back. Right, good. Pull that. Right, but breathe. Breathe. And down. And down. Really nice. Okay. Uh, Kelsey, why don't you come to this side of the okay. table? And, um, all right, let's get a little work here. Hold on here. Yep. Yeah, I can feel your muscles are a little bit tense there. Yeah. It's a little yeah. swelling in the knees. Okay, good. Now hold on to his shoulders for me, Kelsey. Good. All right. Um, I'm gonna pivot the joint, okay? I'm gonna count to three. Okay, see, I didn't do that. If you count to three, then they tense up. So I'm gonna have you lift one arm up like that. Good, good. I'm gonna hold on to your leg here. Good, can you give me your, okay, good. Relax, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna count backwards from 10. Okay, 10. Okay, there you go, 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 and back. Nice. Okay, how'd that feel? No, it wasn't as good. Not as good? You know what, I think you were tensing up. I was. Get a little stretch here. I want you to just just like this. Okay, good, put your arms on that, so you're gonna hold a little flexibility there. I'm gonna have you bend one leg good over the other leg like that. Good, okay, all right, good, good, good. Keep your feet pointed flat. No, okay. no, not that much. Back, back, good, okay, good, good. Okay. Right there, right there. Okay, good, I'm gonna hold this underneath your ankle there. What's your, what's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? Yeah, okay. Good, we'll have you relax just like that for just a minute. You doing okay? Okay, stay like this. Okay, good, and push his shoulders a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You'll feel that. <laughs> okay. Okay. A little bit. Pull. Oh. Nice. Okay, good. That helped. Okay, I'm step up. Like, no, you're good. You. Step up. How do you feel? Wow. You feeling any better? I am. Yeah? I am. I feel like stretched out. I don't think okay. I stretched that much in like since last time I was here. Okay. Okay. You can see Sally up at the top. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. They'll, they'll, they'll be loose a little bit, okay? So you'll be okay. Just a few minutes there.